Hello, everybody. This is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. It's a little after 1 a.m. on Saturday night, and I did not forget my way in this morning. You're going to see it at the end of this video, but guess what? I thought, oh, you know, when I get home from doing my demo, I'll rest a little bit and, you know, visit and, you know, do other little things, and let me just lay down for just a short time, and I'll upload the video. Well, what do you think happened? I fell asleep, but I promised you a weekly weigh-in, and so I'm going to give it to you. First of all, I just want to tell you how this week went with my weigh-in. You guys know I went overboard with eating a lot of food over the holidays, but just even before that, and I was basically eating my emotions and comforting myself. That being said, I thought, you know what? That's not acceptable. I worked too hard to get this weight off. So I did what I call a reset and I didn't go hardcore this first week. What I did is I just decided to start off slow for the week and mostly just do two simple things. Number one, eat smaller portions. Gee, what a novel idea. None of us have ever heard of that before. It's called portion control. Wow. It's a new concept. Just kidding. And then the next thing is, is I basically did not snack at night. Years ago, when I was even more overweight than I am now, I was notorious for eating a lot of food at night, such as a bowl of ice cream, things like that, which for some reason puts on weight. So I decided I'm just going to cut down on portions and not eat at night. And you'll see the results. Each week's a little different. I normally don't do weekly weigh-ins, but I am going to be doing that this for January and February. Even if no one watches the video, it's just basically for me and to keep me accountable. And I hope you guys don't mind me sharing along what I'm doing. It's not about giving up all of your favorite foods. Basically, and I, you know, I know many of you will agree, so many people are on all different kinds of eating plans. The main thing is, is that I just, I want to be a healthier version of me. And one of the biggest things that I think that people can do to keep weight off is basically not feeding your body so much food. I know for me, I can eat enormous amounts of food and just eating a little bit less can make a huge difference. And I think it's a lot better for our body. I know it sounds like a simple concept. So stay tuned to see, did I have results by doing two things? Number one, simply eating less, portion control. Number two, no snack, the nighttime snacking. That's all for now. And I'll see you next Saturday. And I promise I will upload earlier. I love you and I appreciate you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. This is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. I am going to do my weekly weigh-in. Last week, I was 222. This week, I didn't go crazy where I went on any strict eating plan. All I simply did was cut back on portions and not snack at night. Let's see if that made a difference in my eating. Last week, I was 222, so let's see if I lost any weight. Here I go now. Oh, by the way, can I count the, the phone that I'm holding in my hand as a pound and take it off my weight? Just kidding. Here I go. Okay, whoops, hopefully you saw that. It was 217.8, which is exactly five pounds. Thank you very much. Let me try that again, by the way, because I it, the weight goes off so quickly. I don't know if you saw that, so let me do it again. Here we go, 217.8, which is exactly five pounds. So, I lost five pounds this week, which is really good. Now, and granted, I know that much of that is water weight. So let's see how I do this week. I'm going to continue with the weekly weigh-ins for Jan and Feb. We'll see what March brings. Thanks for your support, and I appreciate you. Bye-bye.